Okay, so testing is kind of my thing at the moment. I love to test pulse nerve changes as well as other things. Over the past few days, I have done a number of tests, but the one it seems everyone's most curious about is the lock artifacts and if they actually do increase loot drops. Today, guys, we find out. How's it going, people? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a rating it really helps me and my channel out and I do appreciate that support. Okay, so this started with me testing the Red Jabba and his legendary grenade drops. I wanted to see how many I would actually get within 50 runs of running this dude. The point of that video was to basically test to see the rare spawn hunt increased legendary drops and how good they were. While within 50 runs, I got 11 legendaries, 9 grenade mods and 2 weapons. Now I also got during these runs, which is useful information for today's video, were two commons, 34 uncommons, 60 rares and 22 epics. These plus those 11 legendaries. So that was that and not great in my opinion. I then went on to test a artifact called the Deathless, which as it states, it gives you increased, well plus 12.67 lock while using it. So I wanted to make another video on this artifact. So I pull it on and ran this red jabba another 50 times to see the results and test them against running this thing 50 times without any luck artifact. And while the results were quite surprising. I got two commons, 36 uncommons, 74 rares, 22 epics and again 11 legendaries. None of which were grenade mods and the other two were weapons just like before. So the results were pretty straightforward. The artifact which stated it increased the luck never actually did a damn thing besides reward me a few extra blues. Now within that video I posted a few days back about this artifact, many people said I used the wrong artifact and I should do another 50 runs using the loaded dice artifact which states on it, substantially increases your luck. So guys, because you asked and many were not happy with the artifact test I did, I did indeed run another 50 red jabbers using the loaded dice artifact. What I also did was add an additional 6% to my overall luck within my guardian rank, taking my total luck percentage to over 10% and it was previously 5. So all 50 runs you can see in the background now, so you guys know I ain't bullshitting you on my testing. So the results were as follows, I got 5 commons, 40 uncommons, 82 rares, 24 epics and 10 legendaries. 8 of which were grenades and 2 were weapons. And yes guys, that's quite surprising, it seems as though the loaded dice and the additional 5% luck on my guardian rank actually doesn't really do anything. If we compare the 3 runs, as you can see on the screen now, the increase we do see is towards those lower tier items. And with what people are saying is the luckiest artifact to use, with additional luck via my guardian ranks, sees us out of all 3 runs, earning the least amount of legendaries. So the conclusion is, it seems it does not matter the luck increase you have via artifacts and other means, the true effect is, they only work with lower tier items. Now I know people will comment saying maybe the Red Jabba's loot pool is fixed due to the rare spawn hunt and probably his dropped items are fixed too. I mean this would make sense but the point of sometimes me getting two legendaries in a row then doing another 35 runs without earning anything tells you his loot pool and his drop rate is indeed random, it's based on RNG. And the point it seems increased loot artifacts and additional guardian rank lock doesn't actually seem to change anything for the better, I'm not sure they're worth using. Now guys, if there's anything else you want to see me test, let me know. But after 150 runs of the Red Jabba and a little over 30 legendaries, all pretty damn bad, I don't think I will be coming back here. Now 150 runs in total took me a long, long time. But because you guys asked, I delivered. Now if you do appreciate that and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss out on any Borderlands video I post, make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on. But yeah guys, if there's any other tests you guys want to see me do, let me know down below in that comment section, or you could always hit me up on Discord or Twitter, both links within the video description. But yeah guys, just to sum up the video, the loaded dice, the deathless artifact, increased guardian rank additional luck, doesn't seem to affect anything for the better, high tier loop wise. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. Thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.